here's our plumbing control panel. So all we want to do is actually open this up. And inside here, we're going to actually find our controls for our black tank, our gray tank, our hose reel, our macerator hose reel, our macerator pump on and off. And we also have an LED light switch that actually will turn all the lights on in all the exterior compartments. So when we're getting ready to empty our tanks, the first thing we'd want to do is gain access to our macerator hose reel. So once we access that, we can actually come out of the apartment. We need to unlock it because it will not pull out unless you actually release the hose. So you just want to push this button in the down position for one, you know, for one moment, unlocks, and now I can actually pull this out. So once I have this down and in my dump station port, now what I want to do is actually open my black valve and evacuate that tank. The first thing we want to do is always start with our black tank. The reason we want to start with our black tank is once that water has been removed, we want to rinse that hose out with the gray water because that's a cleaner water. So the first thing we want to do is open our black water valve. And as you can see here, the light comes on. You can actually hear the motor engage and stop when it's um, in the fully open position. And once my valve is completely open, I would turn my macerator pump on. I would only let that macerator pump run until the tank is evacuated. You do not want to run that pump so it's dry. You can cause damage to that pump. Once that tank is empty, we just push and hold in the down position. And now we're ready to open our gray valve. The gray valve will not open if the black valve is still open. So now I just hold the valve switch in the up position. It stops, and then I would turn my macerator pump on. So now that we've evacuated both our gray tank and our black tank, we want to flush the black water tank out. In order to do that, it's located in the hose reel compartment right here. You never want to use your potable water hose to hook up to that. At most dump stations, they will actually have a rinse hose there. You just want to actually tie that into this fitting. Once you have it tied into that fitting, what you want to do is run that water for anywhere between one minute and three minutes. Then you want to open your black water valve and evacuate that tank by turning your macerator pump on. You may want to do this you know, two or three times. So now that we've evacuated both of our tanks, we need to retract our hose. Well, when we retract our hose, not only do we need to actually push the button here to retract it. But we actually want to make sure we guide the hose into the reel by going left or right so it's coiling up properly on that hose reel. So once it's actually coiled, what I like to do is leave about one foot out. That gives me plenty of room to actually coil this up and get it into my compartment. So if your macerator pump is blocked, what you can do is come out on the roadside, locate your macerator pump, on the end of the macerator pump is a little plastic plug or rubber plug. Just pull that plug off. On the end here, there's actually a straight bladed screw. You can actually take a flat screwdriver and rotate that counterclockwise and clockwise to assist in unblocking the macerator pump. While doing this, you do not want to have your macerator pump in the on position.